Hey Aries, welcome to your February reading. This is a general reading and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately. But I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always. Along with information about what decks of cards I use in all the videos. If you are new, please welcome and remember to subscribe here. Okay, let's see. We have straight away the Three of Scrolls and the Six of Scrolls here. So that is setting your course and the Sands of Time. So it seems like a good time now. Oh, and the King of Scrolls. Seems like a good time now to um, make plans for your future, where you're going, um, what you want to happen um, over the next course of um, this month, okay? So... I think it's best that you set a course because when we uh, move into the second half of um, February, Pisces season, um, things could get a little bit muddy in what appears and what actually is. Um, it will be a retrograde as well. Mercury will be retrograde from the 17th of February till the 10th of March. So now's the time to do this planning, set your course, right? Um, I feel like during Pisces season, the end of February, it's better to trust all you've learned and the information you've gathered and trust your instinct, right? If you have made plans, you'll get through this time very well. If you don't make plans, trust your intuition, okay? Um, because you may feel like, I'm crazy listening to that little voice in my head that's telling me that I should do this and not listen and then things end up being more of a problem. It's not crazy to listen to your intuition, okay, Aries? It's actually um, very good for you at this time. Um, it makes you smart, as you can see with the King of Scrolls. It makes you smart to listen to your intuition. Even smarter to start planning now because Mercury... Um, enters Pisces on the 3rd of February. So that's in two days from my post in this video, but you could see this at any time. So, um, yeah, it'll be direct at that time, but it's just smart, okay? It's like somebody's looking for you as well here, Aries, I feel. Um, maybe with some good news, um, because I can see a little bit of a rainbow here. So I feel like somebody's looking for you and has some good news to tell you. Um, if you're looking to meet somebody new, um, you could very well meet your soulmate at this time. If you listen to your intuition, you could meet a soulmate. Um, if you don't, you may meet somebody who just wants to hook up because it is a retrograde. So this can mean somebody just wants to be in your life for a short time. Okay, so always listening to your inner voice. It's always the smart thing and the right thing to do. You know, how many times have you kicked yourself saying, I should have listened to myself? Well, that's what you want to do. You either want to write down like a vision board or something like that. Um, that will help you get to your plans or listen to your intuition, depending on when you see this video in February. Oops. Okay, so love elements. I told you, didn't I? Loving elements and um, summer and winter, five of forces here, three of roses. Everybody else got this card, the summer and winter card um, reversed. So they got the winter side of it. You are actually getting the summer side of it and this loving element. This is definitely somebody coming into your life, meeting a new soulmate or starting a new relationship. Right, so we want to look at this um, from our, from intuition of love. And like I said, I feel like it will be in Pisces season. So the second half of February, you've really got to trust your instincts here. Like, you know, children, you know, they just always follow their instincts. Your inner child here, I feel like it's time for your inner child to come out and play, have fun have a lot of warm, positive things going on for you, okay? Um, so I definitely feel like here, um, this is somebody looking for you or looking for a soulmate. 
and that's what's coming in here okay so we're about to have like um a huge romance things blossom in here things going well for you which is very very positive it's not too early to start planning for your future with this person like i said um do a vision board you know setting your course here you know making plans it's time for that with the sands of time if you feel like you know oh time's run out i'm never going to meet somebody it's it's like a perfect time for you to um unite with a soulmate now with this three of roses that's what's coming for you um the five of forces it's like different elements here coming together to help you this is too many but i'm gonna look six and seven of forces one of roses there you go commitment um archangel gabriel and two of roses the winged messenger look this is love coming in for you you have to have this balance and i feel like you know between your head and heart and this is why i feel it's best to plan so that you know because it's pisces season the watery energy can take Look, it can overflow us here, overpower us if we don't find that balance, right? So look at this writing again, okay? So definitely making plans for you um, as you're about to meet somebody here. You may be seeing a lot of signs that you're about to meet somebody, you're about to enter into a committed relationship. It's a wonderful time for you to meet your soulmates, okay? So be spontaneous because you never know where you will meet them be spontaneous in getting yourself out and about i mean there look at this wishes fulfilled okay so it's it's really a good time for you guys right now you've got all this abundance coming towards you wishes being granted this is the five of keys i've explained this like when i did this card for myself and i got two new car keys and i got two new house keys and then the key to somebody's heart here so i feel like this is a wonderful time for you as long as you've got that planning going on, that vision board going on, that purpose manifesting, okay? You know, um, really taking charge of your future. With this loving element as well and this summery feeling here, I feel like if you set a course now, by summer, it's going to, you're going to have this wishes fulfilled, right? So if you set and plan okay, I want to meet a soulmate, I want this job, I want this, I want this new house or this new car, whatever it is for you, you're going to have this by the summer months, you're going to have all this bounty here, you may feel like, well, it doesn't seem like it right now, this is why we do a vision board and planning, okay, you can still get there by trusting your intuition, but, um, at least if you've got a plan or a vision board, you know which direction you want to go in, and here we have Archangel Raphael, and here we see, you know, somebody, a man offering his heart here. And that's what's coming for you. This soulmate is here. It's going to appear like out of nowhere. Look, out of these woods here. It's time for you to meet somebody. You're going to get an offer. Um, I, I feel more to do with love, but if you put the planning in, it may be to do with work right or a new business but <clears throat> it feels very strongly that it's time for you to meet your soulmates it's you're going to find people who are worth being around now so if you've gone through um this winter phase where you've had to ice people out of your life and you've lost people friends family it's now time to gain new people in your life you've made the space now the king of forces look at this we see the king of scrolls and the king of forces here. So it's calling in somebody who's on the same level as you, you know, same vibration, same positivity. Um, somebody who's um, goal orientated at this time. And this could be if you're the one who sets the um, course, then you'll be the one who's goal orientated. And this could be the soulmate here who's coming in following their intuition and just meets you spontaneously. And if you don't make this vision board Aries, then this will be you meeting somebody who's very goal orientated. Okay. You'd have to be very high on your spiritual path. You'd have to really listen to your intuition and not doubt it for a second to be the king of forces. 
this is somebody with a lot of spiritual knowledge um, a lot of knowledge about themselves like I've been through this winter I've learned about myself I've had this spiritual awakening I know to trust my intuition here but this is somebody um, definitely who's going to be very big influence in your life it's like a moment in time where you're going to meet somebody here and they're going to be very important in your life maybe for some of you you'll be more focused that this person can help you with um, your course here your um, vision board somebody who helps you with your career but this person's going to have a real impact on your life now I, I just keep seeing like a pin in a board so it's like a moment in time that you're going to meet this person and they're going to be very important in your life right now why does it keep throwing me out a lot three of forces yeah you may end up moving in together the karmic trenches fated me in the scribe and the muse here so i just said to you this pinpoint in time where you're going to have this fated meeting with somebody um and look again this writing um this making plans here even recording making a diary or something um the muse again somebody very creative and driven um, the karmic trenches, like I said, you could have been in it um, a long time, but it's time to come out now. It's time to start building um, a new life for yourself, a new beginning. So this could be even moving to a new home, but it's two people working together. Three is about unity. And we also see the three of roses. So if you're seeing like three threes and things like that, um, that's yeah, what, you've got three threes. Okay. Three of scrolls. Um, three of roses and um, three of forces so yeah you're gonna be definitely um, having this meeting right now what can I say it's time to meet this person you may already know them you may not but it's time for you two to come together now you may have been facing challenges meeting this person because it is a seven right so sevens are about challenges but it could also be your seventh house that, you know, you marry this person, you know, a relationship that lasts a very long time, Aries here. This could even be like somebody officiate, yeah, officiating um, you two getting together because they look quite dressed up. So maybe like um, an informal wedding or something like that. But it's definitely a building of a future together, building a nest together, a home after being through these karmic trenches after working out your karma here, finding that balance. Um, it's like you find your muse, somebody who motivates you, somebody who shows you that, you know, love is not risky with the right person, that everything has its reason. And now, um, you know, here you are meeting this person who you're going to spend a very long time with, okay? <laughs> I don't know how many of you will know the story, the ugly duckling here, but I feel like, you know, it'll have some relevance, you know, the black sheep always not getting what they want, the ugly duckling feeling not part of their family or not part of their friends group, never being good enough. It's like you've been through these karmic trenches, you know, and now it's time to turn into the beautiful swan. Okay, I get it, swans mate for life. Um, so this is the person you're going to meet with who you, I, I feel like it's very possible um, that you will spend your life with this person. You know, um, if you are self-aware about insecurities or anything like that, I, I feel like these are self-imposed, Okay. Just love yourself. It's time to rid yourself of feeling like the black sheep of the family or the ugly duckling and things like that. Just take pride in how beautiful you are inside and out. It's like love yourself because somebody here, you're about to meet them. It's time. We have the scrolls of time and the time on the clock here. Good luck, Aries.